Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about the early critic reviews that we've seen for Eternals. Now we had the early reactions at their premiere where they invited some of the top YouTubers and reactors to movies to go watch, but now we're getting the actual critic reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, Metacritic, and all the other websites. And they're not looking good, right? And this is where I get a bit iffy with reading reviews and why sometimes I'm not a big fan of the critics and what they have to say about a film. And that's because a lot of the times critics for, say, Rotten Tomatoes usually focus on that genre of film, right? They don't go and do a comedy, horror, Marvel. They try and keep it within the same realm. So when something is reviewed, it's reviewed within that genre. And yes, that makes sense sometimes, but also... In other times, I think a critic can kind of become a bit of a fan, right? And let's say a critic is a fan of the Marvel film franchise and their way of doing things. When a movie comes in that changes things up for Marvel and maybe doesn't run off that formula, but it's what they wanted and that's why they hired Chloe Zhao, they go and say Chloe Zhao kind of failed at her attempt at a Marvel movie. And that's what they're saying. They're saying Chloe Zhao was out of her depth in trying to make a Marvel film and, and make a superhero movie. And from what I've seen with the early reactions of, of people that I trust, they all say that it's not, she's not out of her depth. She did what she wanted to do. You know, this movie is meant to change things for Marvel. If they kept going down the same formula, they would just end up becoming a bit stale, stagnant, and people would stop caring. But now they've done something new. It doesn't follow the same formula, the same script formula that we see for these Marvel movies in any superhero movie, in any blockbuster for that matter. This is a lot more intricate, a lot more detailed, and has a lot more depth to the film. So a lot of people that I trust, that I get my reactions from, like John Campier, they all say that this movie is just so depth, is so deep and covers so much, and that it's good for Marvel because it's going to change things moving forward. But then you get the critics, on the other hand, saying, look, it's a failed attempt and it doesn't look good, and it's sitting on, like, 56%. And so it's rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, and I hope this doesn't deter people from going to go watch the film because I feel like it'll be such an amazing experience and change things for Marvel moving forward which they need, but when you get a critic who can be a sort of fan and go in and say she's out of her depth, she didn't, uh, you know, she failed at a superhero movie, it didn't quite work the same, I think that's just them being annoyed that it didn't follow the same formula that we've seen. But why do people care about it not being new? Why do people want it to be something that we've seen before? But then if they do that, then it's, it followed similar tropes to what we've seen before. You know what I mean? They'll say, oh, it's too similar to other stuff, but when you go different, the same critic will say, oh, it's too different, it failed at an attempt at a blockbuster, it failed its attempt at a superhero movie. And that's my problem with critics. And the fact that they get to release these reviews before people can go and watch the film means that people might say, maybe I don't want to watch it because critics that I trust don't like it. But I think everyone needs to watch it for yourself. I think people will probably take different things from this movie, but it's a lot more story-based. It's very mythological, and it's super, super dense and deep and covers so much and kind of gives a broader view on the Marvel Cinematic Universe and makes it a universe, gives it a past, gives it a future, and it just makes it much more well-rounded and you understand the depth of this world. And so I think it'll definitely be a good movie to see moving forward, but I just hope these critic reviews don't deter people from going to go watch the film. And that's kind of my problem with reviewers, as I've said before, is they just get a bit too... Because they review the same thing all the time, they become a bit fanish and they don't like it and they don't like when something's new and they also don't like when something's the same. And so critics overall shouldn't mean anything for the film and I think people should go still and watch it. And so that's what I'm kind of preaching to everyone watching this video is go and watch this movie. Don't listen to the critics because sometimes they can be very, very wrong. And even the audience score, right? If you look at Rotten Tomatoes, usually the audience score for a film can be in the 80s and the critics is in the 50s. It doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. They judge things differently. So 
definitely still go and watch this movie, and I'm a little sad to see these reviews. And while I don't think it will be the best Marvel movie ever, I do think it deserves much higher, and I think Chloe Zhao accomplished what she set out to accomplish. She didn't want to do the same sort of film that we've seen from Marvel before, but in doing that, I think she knew she would get reviews like this, but I just pray to God it does not affect the box office and the movie moving forward upon the opening weekend. So once again, thank you for listening. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these early reviews for, for Eternals. And yeah, I really love to read those comments. Even if they disagree with me, I really, really love to read them. So once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.